Hello and welcome to Italy. Today we are going to ride 235 kilometers around the lake Lugano and the lake Como. So let's go and have a fun day out on the bike. But let's start at the beginning. And the beginning takes us to the train station of Lugano, where we have started our ride today. We are cycling all around the forearms of the Lago di Como. But before we can do that, I have to get changed because I realized that it is quite warm and I was way too, way too thickly dressed that day. But after that, we can go on and get to our first couple of tunnels of the route. And today will be a day of many tunnels. <laughs> I just love Italy, love the area around here, perfect for cycling, look at the scenery. I'm about 40 kilometers in now, so I will look for a sort of like a second breakfast spot so that I can yeah, eat some, all right. Just look at the scenery. This is the perfect break spot. I'm now about 50 kilometers in and I found myself a sweet little spot at the yeah, corner of the lake. So I will eat something now and afterwards I will give you a quick rundown of my bike and my setup that I'm riding with today. So yeah. All right, now that I've finished all of my snack bites, let me give you a quick rundown of the setup that I'm riding with today. So here we have the Mason Resolution. I've just uploaded a review video of the bike last week. So if you're interested in that, I will link it up in the corner. I'm riding with uh, two bottles, two sort of um, bikepacking bags. And I also have a vest on me right now. I don't know if you can see that. Um, a hydration vest with a three liter bladder in the frame bag we have let me open it in the frame bag we have a puncture kit some sunscreen a wipe for my lenses and yeah also my glasses a lot of different snacks a battery pack and in the back we have some more clothing for the right back home so yeah a puffer jacket and long pants so that's what I'm riding with today and yeah with that let's get going Shit, the route isn't loading anymore. I don't know where to go. But I think left. Hopefully that is correct. That's a motorway, never mind. So I've now arrived at my second rest spot, but I have to say I'm, yeah, I think I bonked. So I have to eat quite a lot now. Have a couple of uh, snack bars next to me and I can enjoy the view and then just, yeah. Let's see how fast we can continue on. My average was quite fast now. I think around 27 kilometers um, per hour. So now I'm finally refueled. <laughs> So I'm ready to continue. I am down about 90 kilometers now. So there's about 140 to go, quite a bit. So yeah, let's not hang around too much and then get going.
now at about halfway. So only 115 or so to go. Vibes are still good, so let's continue. What I've just realized is I've taken about six and a half hours now for the first 120k, taking a lot of breaks, filming, a lot of that stuff. If I take that time again, I will probably miss my last train. So uh, I will have to, yeah, carry on a bit faster now. So I'm not sure if I can take that many amazing shots anymore. But yeah, let's see. And um, yeah, I'm also running out of water, so I have to get some soon. But for now, I'm enjoying the very beautiful scenery here of Northern Italy. It's time to use more sunscreen because I am super pale and I'll get sunburned easily. And I've been riding for a couple of hours now. Damn, I look exhausted, which I kind of am, but yeah, good ride so far and having fun. downhill section a road closure so I can climb it back up gonna lie taking a detour sucks hard and morale is definitely at the lowest point now probably be the last update of me sitting around doing nothing uh, because I'm taking my last break I have about 40 kilometers to go now which uh, I hope I can do in one go um, I don't have any water left I just ate I just downed a package of Haribo so I'm well fueled but uh, yeah no liquids anymore but yeah should be fine let's see Man, I cannot tell you how much I'm looking forward to this being done. I'm completely cracked. But yeah, about 10 kilometers left. Then we go back to the train station. So yeah, last moment of enjoying the lake of Lugano here. And here we are at the border going back to Switzerland so we can take the train back home. And with that being said, this is the ride by the numbers. So not quite 235 kilometers, but a little less, I think also because of the GPS and the many tunnels. But yeah, very cool day out on the bike. If you have gotten anything out of the video, please consider liking or subscribing. And in any case, have a great week. Bye bye.